a bill protecting teachers from bad students approved by lawmakers. The House of Committee on Basic Education and Culture has approved a bill that seeks to strengthen the protection of public school teachers and personnel against allegations on child abuse as well as institute support mechanism for them. House Bill 58 or the Teachers Protection Act of 2016, principally authored by ACT Teachers Representative Antonio Tino and Franz Castro, aims to amend Republic Act 7610 or the Special Protection of Children Against Abuse, Exploitation and Discrimination Act. Representative Tino said public school personnel must, especially teachers, are at the forefront of the delivery of education service to the millions of students every day. This heavy burden of teachers is aggravated by the lack of institutional support in the form of standards and the permissible and effective method In inst of instilling discipline, guidance, counselors to act as support personnel and legal assistance and representation, said Representative Tinio. Representative Tinio pointed out that while children protection is indispensable, teachers protection is also a must. According to the proposed measure, Any act committed by a teacher or a staff pursuant to disciplinary rules and procedures issued by the Department of Education or DepEd would not be deemed as child abuse, cruelty, or exploitation as defined in Republic Act of 9, number 7610. The proposed measure also seeks to lay down institutional support mechanisms for teachers and school personnel in matters of classroom management and discipline. These support mechanisms include legal assistance for school teachers and school staff, as well as training on classroom management and child discipline. Furthermore, the proposed measure also mandates the government to implement in all public schools clearly defined regulations on appropriate student behavior towards other students, teachers, and school staff during classes and within the school premises, outside school premises. It specifically tasks the department of education to issue policies and principles on students' discipline and classroom management, which would govern all division-level student manuals. Earlier, in an episode entitled, Mami, Pinatulpo ang Pasaway na Teacher ng Kanyang Anak, aired last on the one of the most well-known uh, TV show with a very well-known host complaint of a grandmother against the teacher of her grandchild for allegedly shaming and hurting a pupil. The children's parent also appeared on the show where they repeatedly asked for justice and demanded the revocation of the teacher's license to teach. Somehow, The host agreed with the parents and even said that the child may suffer trauma. Then the host called the teacher and put her on a live phone pets conversation. At the end of the interview, the host gave the teacher an option. Either she voluntarily gives up her life job and license to teach or face consequences of prison term because of child abuse. Even though he become apologetic regarding to the incident said that he will no longer pursue the case and will just facilitate the settlement both parties. <laughs>